So on the Z31, uh, I've got some more wiring figured out. So this right here is actually the yellow green wire. And when you activate the AC compressor, it sends 12 volt here. This wire actually used to go to the ECU. So it still goes to the ECU, it's just the fuel tech now. And on the software, you have to set this up to uh, like a, a positive input. So on the inputs, you can do like power or ground. So obviously we choose power here. And so because the AC compressor relay is like ran on its own system, basically we're just telling the, the fuel tech that AC is on and to add fuel and then to bump up the idle air control valve. And then, you know, that way we have pretty good idle. So if you look here, uh, it says AC off. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the AC button. And then now you can see that it has in fact turned the AC on and then the fuel trims don't go super crazy like they used to before. So definitely a lot better, still working on it. So we're, we're running out of inputs. What we've got to do, what we're gonna do now for the final input um, he does now the customer doesn't have fuel pressure or oil pressure So we can definitely reuse those down the line if he if he chooses not to use them after all um, But what I'm going to do is with our final output is I'm gonna hook up the speed sensor Hopefully we can get speedometer working. So we've got idle uh, idle the idle valve working as you can see there And then obviously now we have AC working. So uh, Definitely on the up and up All right, so the last thing I think Again, like I was saying, it was a speedometer. So I'm assuming that it's actually these two wires right here. So I have the speed sensor unplugged. The red white wire gives me five volts. And this one gives me like some random weird reading. So I'm assuming this is actually the speedometer wire. Um, so basically, according to the diagram, as far as I can tell, is that the speedometer has three wires. One is power, one is chassis ground, and chassis ground, it should be up here. It's one of these two, I can't remember which one it is. I think it's yellow blue. Um, it's chassis ground and that goes directly to the speed sensor. And then, like I said, this is five volt, so this should be the output. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap this tomorrow, uh, feed it into the remaining uh, input, and then jack up the rear wheels and see if we can get a speedo reading at all. So hopefully that is it. After some testing between these two wires with uh, the quick tap, uh, red, white, as you can see, is the actual speedometer wire. And I got it working. It's a bit noisy, but it I expect that to be because one, the age of the sensor, and two, that it's not actually properly wired up. So we're gonna get that wrapped up now. Um, the next thing as well is to uh, figure out how we're gonna do the power wire here so the power for the idle air control valve and all that needs to get done uh, we'll tap that in real quick and then that that should be it all right so this is our first drive with the fuel tech installed our well laying there really so we're just doing some data logging right now i'm driving this thing over to the gas station uh, so we will continue to tune it do it quick and dirty and then hope for the best